My name is Markus Kluge. I'm living in Copenhagen. I have been working for information security and network management for about 20 years, uh, starting with network management and after a very short while uh, moving more towards information security and compliance. First in the uh, medical sector and then afterwards in telecommunication and these days in the financial sector. I learned so much during the last 20 years, so it, it's about time to give something back to the community. So I work in Copenhagen where the head office of Anwire is and uh, my role as head of information security is to take care that all the services that we are providing for the different clients are compliant to applicable regulations to the customer's requirements and to our own policies and procedures. Anwar the company which have all kind of, provides all kinds of services for the financial sector, trans public transportation and, and messaging sector where it uh, provides services related to uh, payments uh, either person to person or business to person. Uh, it recently became one of those uh, 700 recognized Bluetooth manufacturers uh, like Apple and Motorola and Intel and it's a partner of the uh, Bluetooth uh, SIT, the special interest groups and we are providing services for f the financial sectors, for merchants, for end users. So from the phone to the point of sale terminals to applications, backend solution, administrative things. My role is important to assure that all the services that we are delivering to our clients, they, they, they do not only work as attended, but they are also secure. So there are no big surprises when using the product or all of a sudden data are being leaked or we or a financial authority or data privacy authority knocks on our doors and telling us that uh, there has been a vulnerability exploited, so now we have to pay fines and to, to inform our customers, and, and uh, which will, in the end, lose uh, or lower the reputation of unwire in the industry. Are you aware that it's nearly exactly 10 years ago where the first iPhone has been published, uh, which happened the 29th of June, uh, 10 years ago? So uh, 10. Years ago, people were thinking about should I buy a Nokia phone or a Sony Ericsson phone. Nobody was thinking about mobile payments. Nobody was thinking about contactless payment with a card. Or so. so, of course, during the last 10 years, this area uh, in evolved substantially. Of course, I was thinking about security 10 years ago, so therefore I had a BlackBerry phone, uh, which by, rather back then has been the standard for secure mobile communication but it had nothing to do with mobile payments at all so security yes it has always been on the agenda for me but payment that happens five years later where the first financial institutions where they when they decided to go into that area where the technology on the phones were mature enough to to do mobile based transactions the industry for providing the technology to enabling uh, cashless payments or uh, contactless payments, yes, they, they are ready for sure. The problem which I see is that also now legislation and regulation, they need to cope with it because it's not anymore about making it possible. It is now to find the right level of governance to do this. So, because I think it's uh, the balance between uh, financial transactions and payment services and data privacy, this uh, has not uh, settled down these days. Today, of course, there are, there are evolving new technologies. Uh, so people and companies are very creative, very innovative in figuring out how could some of the problems be solved. And it is a challenge to stay ahead and to stay on top of it. It's about uh, spending resources, diligence, so to, to put the efforts in the right places. You can't eliminate or mitigate all vulnerabilities that you found. You can't get rid of all the risk, but it, uh, you need to be smart enough to work on, on the most important risk, to, to lower the profile to a level which can be accepted by everybody.
In my view, the most important thing in regards to vulnerability assessment is, is the human factor. Yes, we need to educate everybody using technology in a, with a common sense, uh, with wisely, uh, not putting all responsibility and accountability to the technology. Thank you so much, Marcus. Thank you for giving me the chance.